All right, Coco Titar, Age of Slash, Cartana, uh, Salomon. Speaking of Salomon, and uh, Gastrodon. All right, so I can't bring Venusaur as a Gastrodon. That sucks. I kind of like Metagross here. I kind of like Metagross a lot, but I know he's gonna Tailwind me. I think I'm gonna bring Incineroar, Porygon. I'm gonna Trick Room him. Am I colorblind? No, that's just what my screen looks like. So I'm going to go Incineroar Porygon, and then Venusaur. Do I still bring Spider? Like, I'm looking at it, and no. Nope. Hmm. I think I'm just going to bring Coco as my last mod. Something those questions made you wonder? What? It might have color bind mode on. I don't really. I don't know. Yeah, so we're gonna go Incineroar Porygon. Venusaur. I want to bring Spider, but like I can't justify it. It's not good against Porygon. It's not good against Coco. It's not good against Salamence. Like I can't justify it. It's decent against Aegislash. Slash. And to be honest, I can just bring Coco and use it after the Trick Room, and it's still just as good. Yeah, there might be something like that. Color bind mode. I don't know. There's things I can do to mess with it. I can show you guys later. I can make it so the top screen looks like that. But not the bottom screen. It's definitely just one of the settings that's not right. But I don't want to take the time to mess with it. So Coco Sally. Alright. There's a higher chance of Coco having Taunt or Sky Drop. Than Salamence having like Roar or Dragon Tail. And also if we're intimidating a Salamence it's not going to be doing that much. Like, I'm expecting, you know how funny it would be if you just freaking, like, oh man. You know how funny it would be if you just tailwinded with that Salamence? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just going to fake out the Coco, and we get a juicy special attack boost. Coco's protecting? That's fine. You can protect all you want. I'm going to trick room you. My Sally could detail or roar me. That's totally an option. Maybe you want me bringing my Coco, I'll take that. I'm gonna laugh that Salamence Dragon Dances. I think he's just gonna be using, like, Hyper Voice or Hard Switching to his Trick Room Mon. His one Trick Room Mon. Yep, he's withdrawing, probably for Gastrodon. Yep. Hey, we're fine. He might be, I think he's going for Discharge this turn. Yep. I think I'm just gonna hit, get the Coco off the board. Actually, should I? Should, who should I get off the board? I can get both these. I can't. I'm gonna hit the Coco. Let me actually just think about this. Gastrodon's gonna Earth Power me. Gastrodon is definitely the threat here. I just don't think I have what it takes to like grind it out. And I can just get the. Co I can just delete the Coco. I'm just gonna hit the Coco. Fuck it. Did I knock off this Coco? Am I an idiot? We'll, we'll see. I hope I didn't just knock off this. Special D drop. Ice beam. I better not have knock off this Coco. I better have been paying more attention than that. Whoa, that's a Vested Coco. Vested Coco in the house, guys. That's the only way that thing doesn't take more damage than this. Alright, cool. Coco's down. That's kind of good. I think I'm going to switch up my Incineroar for Venusaur. Yeah, I'm going to take a good amount of damage from that Earth Power. But I'm pretty sure Porygon can, like, soft... He can't bring Salamence back in. Yeah, it has to be Aegislash. Aegislash coming in here. That's a unique pick. I'm going to switch in Venusaur. And I think I'm just going to Thunderbolt this Aegislash. Aegislash can be slower than me. So, actually, I don't know if I, want Aegis if I like Aegislash coming in here. Earth power. Shouldn't be doing an absolute ton. I don't say this one's in the bag at all. See, like crits, like this game's totally not in the bag. His Gastrodon can like grind me out. He's attacking. Sacred Sword Porygon. See, like, no, it's it's not in the bag as easy as it looks. He's lefties. Hmm. 
I could recover this turn. I totally could. See, I don't have Giga Drain either. You know, we're actually just going to stay in offense. We're just going to actually... I could recover here. He's not going to Z-move my Venusaur. He might protect with his Gastron and try and Shadow Ball me, expecting me to King Shield. So I'm actually just going to Thunderbolt him. This is a little bit of a read. But I, I, he should just be King Shielding. He should just be King Shielding. But we'll see. But I would not be surprised if he went with Protect Gastrodon and like Shadow Ball my Venusaur. I would not be surprised if that was his play. Protect Gastrodon! Shadow Ball! Dude! Dude! I called it! Oh, dude, that sucks. We're, we're speed tying. Last time I Thunderbolted him first. Because remember, last time I Thunderbolted him because he was in uh, the stance. So we ate that damage for free. That sucks. That sucks. Because I thought that I was going to be Thunderbolting first before his Aegis Slash did. Like last turn, I Thunderbolted him before. Oh, that really, that that's like completely free damage. All right, he's going to be protecting with his elements here. Right? Right? Let me turn the tree over got. Last turn. I think I'm actually just going to protect with my Venusaur, right? Protect with Venusaur. And I think I'm going to just recover this turn. And then next turn, I'm probably going to hard switch in my uh, Incineroar. Get a double Intimidate. And just uh, fake out lock that Salamence. And once Salamence is on the board, we're just going to send out Venusaur. And Venusaur checks Gastrodon. The only way this foul's out of control this turn, I think, is if he goes for like a Dragon Dance or some crazy shit this turn with the Salamence. Yeah, he's just, he's just protecting, which is the correct play. And now his Protect's going to be on cooldown. And we're back at full. We take those. Yeah, I'm going to hard switch in my Incineroar, which means he's going to have to like crit us with a double edge, and it should still shouldn't even take us out. Alright, Venusaur switches in for Incineroar, and Ice Beam into the Salamence slot. Should be going down. The Venusaur switches out, Incineroar intimidates. He's probably going to be able to KO my Incineroar this turn, with just something, but then we have Venusaur, and Venusaur is faster than Gastrodon. Unless he has Quick Claw Gastrodon. Hyper Voice, easy. Nice try. Look at the damage. Look at the no damage. Peace. Wasted. And he's probably going to kill the Incineroar with uh, an Earth Power, but again, it's totally fine. Oh, is he Ice Beam my Porygon? Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to fake out his Gastrodon and hard switch in my uh, Venusaur. Speed this up a little bit. He's probably just going to scoop. I would not be surprised. Wow, no scoop. I see how it is. Alright. Fake out. And we're going to knock off. There's no way this Gastrodon's faster than my Venusaur, right? Right? That would be so dumb. I really, sh I really wish this Venusaur had Giga Drain instead of Energy Ball, too. Really wish that it did. But it does not. Alright, Energy Ball comes out. Four times super effective. We take a KO on the Gastrodon. Give me some of that. And we take out Andrea. Easy. Camera. Mm hmm. What's the Raptor? Okay. All right, da damage calcs. Alright, alright. Reuniclus as well. Alright. I kind of want to bring Porygon to Trick Room is Trick Room because I can't really stop it. Right? I can't stop that. Best I could do is taunt the Snorlax. But I don't think I can stop this. Like, how how would you do this? How would you stop this? Spider's pretty good here. Wide Guard's, like, amazing against the camera up. But, like, how do we beat the Venusaur? Sorry, how do we, how do we beat the uh, Snorlax? Thirty seconds. I think I'm gonna go 
Coco Metagross here, actually. I'm just gonna try and pop his Mimikyu. But the thing is, you know he's going. Mi he's totally going Mimikyu Straptor. Who has my highest base HP? Then Roar and Spider. We'll try this. This might work. This might work. D Gleam Steel Move Oko Mimikyu. D that's what I'm doing, but you know he's leading Scarf Staraptor. You know that he's leading Scarf Staraptor. We know this. So I'm gonna have to play around it. Mimikyu Straptor. It's almost like I play this game. So his main plan is gonna be to final gambit my Coco, right? Coco can get Sky Drop, Coco can get Taunt. He's totally hitting the Coco, right? Right? He has to be. And I know this Metaverse has investment in HP. I might, might have more HP than Straptor. Here we go. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the game on a 50-50. We're switching out Coco for Incineroar, who has full HP. Quite a bit of it. And we're going to be Mega Evolving and Iron Head in that Mimic unit. I'll take the, I'll take the punch. Yeah. I don't? Damn it. Well, Incineroar will live it if he goes for Final Gambit. Final Gambit, my Coco! Don't hit my Metagross. Don't hit Metagross. Don't you dare close your eyes. Final Gambit. Buckets! Are you kidding? I'm so mad! Should've just protected, probably. I got greedy. Alright. He gets his Trick Room up. There, he did it. Hmm. I mean, I have Fake Out. And I have Spider. I think I'm actually just gonna eat the Snorlax Berry. Like, I'm gonna Fake Out. I'm gonna Fake Out Bug Bite. The Oh, it's gonna Bulu. What? Okay. I'll take that. I Floyd Blitz those. Yeah, I'll do this. Hmm. Can this lower defense or something? Yeah. There's no way that Mimikyu's packing a berry, right? I'm so I'm gonna liquidate. I'd rather have the chance to drop defense. Liquidate. What? That blue. That Bulu, he's just chilling over there. He didn't protect. Why though? The Aquaberry? Rock Slide! Oh my goodness. He's slower than this Incineroar. I guess it's made for Trick Room. It's not too surprising. Wow, that did a lot. Flare Blitz coming in extra hot. That Bulu is probably bulky as shit. But like, he, we took. Oh my gosh, really? Dude, we got the burden though. I'll take it. Look at that recoil. Oof. He's gonna bury. Oh, but we did have a berry. We could have ate it. Damn. Sword damn. That's some scary shit. Delete. Delete Mimikyu. I'm ignoring the boo now. I kind of need to preserve Spider because, like, you know, Camera Up has that big eruption. He's just a plus one, right? Yeah. I don't care about that thing. Probably gonna be Z moving one of my mons. I can eat the plus I can eat it at plus one though. Liquidate. Please go away. Rock slide. He's gonna flinch me, watch. Proc my berry! Shoutouts. Crit my spider. Flinch my incinero? Are you kidding? What? Wait, where's my- oh wait, is this Incinero using a vest? Did I- did I read this incorrectly? Oh, buckets. This Incinero has an assault vest. I thought I had a freaking, uh, berry the whole time. <laughs> I'm playing, like, way too balls deep right now, then. Alright, I thought I had an- I had an- I thought I had a berry the whole time. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm, like, crazy over here. Oh, well. 
<laughs> okay. Well, that sucked. Dude, I don't care. It's still time for damage. He probably has, like, shadow sneak or some stupid shit. I don't care. Look what it'll KO. The power of Big Spider. Rock slide, yep. We live in, boys. Don't you flinch me again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop flinching me! Yeah, I'm about to have to wide guard to kill your damn Bulu. Your burned Bulu. I think I'm just going to switch next turn. So we'll see what happens. What's his last one? It has to be camera up, right? Yep. I think I'm just going to wide guard. I think I'm just going to wide guard, and I think I'm actually just going to flare blitz him in the mouth incredibly hard. How many turns is TR? Last turn TR? Perfect. We're going to send Coco out next turn. This is going to be the biggest flare blitz ever. Yeah. Mega Stone. I mean, he could just Earth Power Mine Cineroar, I guess, if he really wanted to. I guess he could just overheat my spider. That would suck too. But you know he's going for the you know he's going for the eruption or whatever. Heat wave. Same thing. Heat wave's boosted off of sheer force, it makes sense. Alright, no rock slide, no nothing. Get all those AoE attacks out of here. Wide guard coming in. Maybe nature power. Ooh, yeah, that would have sucked. Still. Yeah, we take that. That's a good wide guard. And now Trick Room's gone. Which means Incineroar is back to where it needs to be. I think I'm just gonna... Let me think about how I want to play this. Because, like, I, Coco can't hit the damn camera up. Hmm. Hmm. Spider's faster than fucking camera up, right? Camera up slow as shit. Like, Boo is gonna go down. Oh, this is making it so I take single target damage if I didn't EV if this thing's not EV train the way I want it to be. But I think fa I think Spider's faster than camera up, and I think this is the only way I fuck this up is if for some reason he's faster than me. You're right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. That's why I did this. I was like, yeah, wait, camera up's just slower than me, so we're good. But then again, like, this isn't my QR team, so I'm like, I don't know, how's this spider EV trained? I have to, I have to expect these guys to be, uh, EV trained and, like, have the correct IVs and natures. I think even at, like, zero speed, uh, spider's still faster than camera up, and that's what I, what I played around. 1369? Holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's Mega Venusaur Mirror Match with a Garchomp. This guy's a very similar team. Let's see, Porygon should mess this guy up, right? Let's think about it. I'm thinking about going... Like, I'm looking at Coco right now. I'm looking at Coco. Coco checks a lot of those things except the Garchomp. So if we go Coco... Actually, what about, like, Spider? What about... What about, like, Spider Metagross? Do you think it's a Tech Rage Garchomp? It might be. I don't like spider medicos. What about... So we're going back to Coco. I think Coco's pretty good here. Coco only really loses the Garchomp. So if we go Incineroar Coco, we can scout if it's Scarfed. And then if it is, we'll hard switch in our spider, and then we need one more Pokemon. Hmm. I think it should be Metagross. Yep. So we're going Incineroar, Coco, Spider, Metagross. Awesome. His spider's going to be a little bit of a problem. But I don't know if he's even going to bring it. Here we go. This is going to be a pretty good game. I think this is going to be a pretty good one. But I think we can get it. Let's see what he leads with. I'm, I'm just mostly afraid of Scarf Chomp. But in reality, I really think it's a Tech Rage Chomp. I'm really getting the Tech Rage like, vibe. 
But we'll see. Either way, we're intimidating it. Ooh, yeah. We take this. Hmm. This changes my strategy quite a bit. Actually, no, it doesn't. I think I'm just going to fake out the Garchomp. I think I'm actually just going to Z-move that Metagross. I think it's going to go down. I think it's a full-speed Metagross. I think it'll go down. Malafi's AV! Hit me with that VGC 2017 Real Tech. What is it, like, Bulldoze Garchomp and, like, Weakness Policy Metagross? Oh, I'd be so... I'd be so mad. Yeah, so we'll take a little bit of rough skin damage. It's Mega Garchomp! Okay! Dude, we're not even... We're not even taking rough skin damage! Sign me up! I'll take that! Mega Garchomp! Okay. Protecting with Metagross. Alright, alright. That's fine. Yeah, I did not see this coming. At all. I think I'm just gonna protect Coco, switch in my- It is a Vested Meta- No, it's not Vested. You protect- What the fuck item is he holding? Is he Z-Crystal? Is he Groundium Z- Metagross? Hard to say. Yeah, that, that's weird. That's definitely not normal. Hmm. I think I'm gonna protect with Coco and Heartroot and Spider. Because we can just wide guard him. I think. And then go for a Thunderbolt next turn. Psychium Z, can you freaking not? Can you not? He's switching to Mana Buzz. Bro, what if I just Thunderbolted you? Like, I'm still gonna Thunderbolt you. But, uh, yeah, this is fine. He just, he's Earthquake in this turn. That's why he's doing this. Earthquake's fine with me. Do we taunt the Mana Buzz? What do you think? Like, I don't know if Thunderbolt... Ca Actually, Thunderbolt will KO it. He didn't activate any seeds or anything. Thunderbolt to take it out. Alright. We got Wide Guard. Wide Guard's for days. So if it's got like walk and berries me or some stupid thing like that, I'm gonna be so upset. Thunderbolt. Actually, taunt is the better play. He can't do anything if we taunt, right? No, fuck it. I'm just gonna thunderbolt it. I want the big KO. May not KO. Yeah, you're, I know. I'm I'm not feeling the KO, but like I'm feeling the KO on the 1369 players mandibuzz. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing. Like, if I was playing in a region... Okay, we crit, we crit anyways. We crit anyways. But, like, I thought about it. Let's say he gets his Tailwind off. Like, what happens? Garchomp can't even hit the Coco if we just spam Wide Guard. What is Mana Buzz going to do? Foul play down our Coco? Like, that's... Like, I'd eventually... If he went for, like, a Tailwind there and got it off, I would just spam Dazzling Gleam until he lost all his Mons. And now Mega Venusaur hits the board. Mega Venusaur might be a little bit of a problem. I'm actually going to liquidate and protect. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to be going for a sludge bomb this turn. Yeah, this guy brought like the whole mega thing. Yeah. Well, there's this person 1369. Yeah, they're, they're pretty low. So like, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Don't you, don't you dare close your eyes. Don't you flinch me. All right, cool. We're good. That's good damage. That's really good damage. Alright, um, let me see what we got in the back. We have Metagross, right? Cool. I'm just gonna Y-Guard again. And Hard Switch and Metagross. To be honest, you should just treat everyone like they're 1369 and just try and style on as many people as possible. So Y-Guard comes out. I'm pretty sure he's going for either, like, Protect Earthquake or, um... The same rock side sludge bomb. He might actually be sludge bombing my spider this turn. I wouldn't be surprised. Sludge bomb. Yeah, he'd target spider. I think it's a correct play. You should have been doing that a while ago. Ugh, sad face. Poison. But this will let us activate our berry, so, uh, appreciate it. I'll take it. Alright, we're just gonna ice punch down this, uh, Garchomp and probably hard switch in Incineroar. Do you honestly feel like the team might not be as bad as you switch them in items around? It's not AV gross. Uh, you protect a first turn, so it's not AV. Yeah. I think it's the Z move on Metagross, he just hasn't had a chance to use it. Uh, 
Oh, I would use AV. Eh, maybe. It might even be weakness policy. Uh, is he switching to Metagross here? That base. I should have actually not paid attention to that. That's 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 a good play from him. That's what I get for like not paying attention. But we actually still have a really good pin here with Incineroar coming in. Attacks are wasting our Intimidate, but like we're fine. You don't want to keep the Garchomp around. Garchomp should actually be within range of Dazzling Gleam from Coco now. So I think we're okay. Next turn, I can just hit the Venusaur. And probably just hit the Metagross. Actually, let's see. I might actually just hit... I might actually just, like, nuke the Metagross next turn. Ooh, yeah, big damage. Z-Move Venusaur! Bloom Doom Venusaur! Bro, boys! What is this? What do you think it's boosted off of? You think it's boosted off Giga Trade, Energy Ball, Solar Beam, Frenzy Plant? What do you think this move's boosted off of? We'll probably be able to see. Alright, let's see it. Yeah, dude, this guy's ridiculous. Bloom Doom with my Metagross, dude. No. Dude, that's totally Frenzy Plant. That's totally Frenzy Plant. Alright, let's see if we actually want to do this. It has to be. I'm gonna fake out the Metagross and actually just go for a Stomping Tantrum. Actually, Stomping Tantrum can just take out his Metagross, I'm sure. I'm sure it can. He took a, he took a lot from an Ice Punch, so I'm sure we can. We're just gonna Flare Blitz the Venusaur and just go for a Stomping Tantrum. Let's see it. I want to see him use Frenzy Plant, though. Yeah, Metagross goes down. No Frenzy Plant, no, sorry, no, no Metagross shenanigans for you. Sludge Bomb. Dude, just use Frenzy Plant! I want to see it! Pretty fast Venusaur. Big damage. Venusaur goes down. We take those. Oh, man. That game was pretty ridiculous. Dude, I want to make a team with Frenzy Plant in it. I used Hyper Beam at, like, one regional on Guard. On Mega Guard in, like, 2015. That was pretty weird. But it's whatever. And Ice Punch. I know a buddy of mine used Hyper Beam on Mega Salamence in 2015. Like Aerial 8. Stuff like that. It was pretty lit. Wow, really? You're going to protect bait me? The BM coming from this guy. Dude, I'm about to just like... I'm about to just stomping tantrum like my own guy. And I'll just win. Easy. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, C thirteen sixty nine. You can see it. Oh, is he gonna timer me now? Uh, the maximum BM. Nah, uh, yeah, it wasn't timer. It just took him a little while. Oh, we take those. Pretty good stuff. I'm down. I thought there was some pretty funny stuff in that game. We still have no idea what item was on that Metagross, but we take those.